In this segment, we will illustrate the process for removing minor imperfections in the paint film, also known in the industry as denib and polish. As in any auto body repair process, personal protection is a must. Remember to select protective eyewear, appropriate gloves, hearing protection, respirator, and protective clothing based on your job and exposure assessment. If baking the clear coat, it is important to give the vehicle time to cool prior to buffing. If the clear coat was air dried, verify the clear coat is cured enough to proceed. For specific recommendations on buffing times, contact your paint manufacturer. Some technicians may choose to demask the vehicle enough to make it safe to drive without removing all protection. This protection helps keep the car clean while buffing. At this step, you will need to make an on-the-spot assessment of the refinished area looking for dust nibs, runs, sags, or other defects, including orange peel or other finished defects. This typically necessary operation is required to match OEM texture and appearance. Make sure the surface is clean and free of anything that could scratch and damage the finish during the sanding and polishing process. In this example, the finish matches the OEM texture and only a few debris specks are present. Therefore, we can address this with the denib and polish. In the case where minimal dust nibs are present and the texture matches the OEM finish, use either 1500 or 2000 grit flexible abrasive on a 3M sanding block to remove the dirt nib. Visually check the area and feel the surface to make sure the defects are completely removed. Sand thoroughly to refine the 1500-2000 grit sand scratches using a DA with a 3M Trizac 3000 grit disc attached to a soft interface pad. Be sure to keep the 3000 grit disc damp at all times while sanding and make certain to cross sand in all directions ensuring that all 1500-2000 grit scratches have been removed. Quickly and thoroughly clean up all sanding residue prior to continuing on to the compounding step. Failure to wipe the sanding slurry from the surface may result in damage during the polishing step by introducing contaminants that may scratch the surface. Compound the entire repair area using a 3M compound white foam or wool pad between 1200 to 2000 RPM. Use enough compound to keep the surface wet during the compounding process. Keep in mind that it is best to run the pad as flat as possible to minimize swirling. Continue compounding until you are certain that all sand scratches are completely removed. Before proceeding to the next step, remove excess compound residue from door jams, panel surfaces, and surrounding areas with a detail cloth. Failure to remove excess compound residue will increase the chance of contaminating your polishing pad with compound and will result in excessive swirl marks. Using a 3M PPS sun gun light or other reliable light source, visually check the finish to make sure that all sand scratches have been removed prior to proceeding to the next step. Polish the entire repair area using a 3M machine polish and a black foam pad between 1200 to 2000 RPM. Use enough polish to keep the surface wet during the polishing process. Keep in mind that it is best to run the pad as flat as possible to minimize swirling. Continue polishing until you are certain that all compound swirls are completely removed. Before proceeding to the next step, remove excess polish residue from door jams, panel surfaces, and surrounding areas with a detail cloth. Failure to remove excess polish residue will increase the chance of contaminating the next polishing pad and will result in excessive swirl marks. To effectively remove extremely fine polishing swirls, especially on dark colored vehicles, polish the entire repair area with 3M ultrafine machine polish and a 3M blue foam polishing pad between 1400 to 2000 RPM. Use light pressure. Using a clean detail cloth or one that has been dedicated to this step, wipe off the remaining wet film of ultrafine machine polish, revealing a swirl-free finish. Dedicating a 3M detail cloth to this step is strongly recommended as this will eliminate re-scratching the surface due to coarser material being trapped in your cloth. Using a 3M PPS sun gun light or other reliable light source, visually check the finish to make sure that all sand scratches have been removed prior to delivery. 